Josh Land. I'm back today with another video. In today's video is all about Section 8 and transforming your Section 8 voucher into cash, dinettos, peso, money, honey. Yes, you heard that right. Getting the money directly in your hands to help with your rent. So if you want to know how this process works, honey, you've come to the right place. You already know what to do. Stay tuned. Your girl's got you covered. Now, if this is your first time tuning into my channel, Hi, hello, hey friend. My name is Chile and here on this channel we discuss shopping, saving, and everything in between. I would love to have you a part of my internet family. Super easy. Click the big old red subscribe button down below when you're in just like that. So while you're at it, go ahead and give me a like, especially if you love me bringing this content to you. Now guys, you can try out Amazon Prime free for 30 days by clicking the link above in the cards or I'll put it down in the description box. There's no credit card required at all. You can get your items to you within 48 hours and it's all on me. All right, first things first, let me go ahead and address those of you that pray for me and my sickness for the past week. Thank you so much. Your prayers work. I'm going to have to have some surgeries, but we're in good spirits. Okay, so Thank you, thank you so much for just taking the time to send one. I feel a lot better as of right now, as you can tell with my mood, but this is not what you're here for. Just know God is good, right? Let's go ahead and talk about how you can get this money, honey. <laughs> All right, so if you don't know what a Section 8 voucher is, let me go ahead and explain it really quickly. It's basically a lifeline for people that need help paying their rent. Now, the U.S. Department of Housing and Urban Development also known as HUD, it gives money to local housing authorities and then they give vouchers to eligible families. Now guys, it can take so long. I mean, you have a better chance of hitting the lottery than getting these vouchers. But these vouchers can help pay for your housing. But here's the catch, right? Only about 55% of people who get a voucher, they're able to actually use it. And that's because all of the paperwork and then trying to find a landlord that will accept it. And y'all, it's just, it's a whole lot of issues, all right? So, Shalay, what is the big news? Well, HUD is rolling out new pilot programs to make things a lot easier. So instead of you going through all that red tape with your landlords and your housing authorities, a lot of people will now be able to get the actual cash. So then that way they can't discriminate. They don't know, like, they don't know, y'all. So in places like... Philadelphia and Long Beach, they have already started testing out this by giving families like prepaid debit cards to help with the rent. So imagine you getting that $900 cash, the netto, for you to find you a place to live, no strings attached, no complicated paperwork at all. This can make things a lot easier for families who are trying to find housing. Now, I know a lot of you may be asking, why is HUD trying to shake things up now? Well, it's simple, y'all. Rising rent prices. People are struggling to make ends meet. And sometimes a little bit of that extra income can make a huge difference on whether a family stays in their home or not. So they're looking at it's 2024. Things are changing. The world is changing. By giving the cash directly to renters, HUD is testing this process to see hey, does this really put the power in your hands? And they're trying to implement it at the top of the year for other states. So how will it work, right? This is the way that it will work. You will either have the option to get the traditional voucher, which will help cover your rent, or you will get the cash that's equivalent to your household size. For example, like in Long Beach, 100 lucky voucher people, they got $900 per month while they search for a permanent place to live. So then there's no need for you to wait on a landlord or go through like your inspections. You just pay your rent directly to the landlord, just like anyone else is. And HUD is partnering with a lot of organizations to help fund these programs. So a lot of people are like, yo, I can't find anyone that wants to accept my voucher. Well, if you're just paying like anyone else, honey, they don't even know. Who would know? How would they know? Okay, so let's go ahead and break it down. One, this will give you more control. So you get to decide on how you want to spend the money, whether it's your rent, your utilities, or even emergencies. Two, there's less red tape. So no more waiting on the housing authorities to inspect a unit or approve or approval by the landlord at all. Three, it gives you more flexibility, which means you can pay the money directly to the landlord. Like, we good, right? That means I can find my home a lot faster, as well as for a higher voucher comes because we know every October, not only does SNAP get an increase, but HUD gets an increase as well. And this is nationwide to go ahead and keep up with the rising living costs. So pretty much, guys, this applies to everyone, like all of us, okay? 
but of course a lot of people are not on board so that's where the tension is and if this is going to happen at the top of the year because a lot of people are worried that if you give the renters the cash they might spend it on other things than the rent and landlords can get left out and that is a big concern because right now they have a lot of landlords that don't want to participate in the program but based on the early pilot programs in Philly and Long Beach as of right now, a lot of people are using the money for their rents and either they're staying in their homes, they're finding new ones, and it actually makes the process a lot quicker. So you don't have to be waiting on your voucher or waiting in the system for 10 years, 12 years as well. Um, you don't have to wait for 10 or 12 years, okay? <laughs> like that's what I'm trying to say. But I because you don't have to wait on your vouchers for 10 or 12 years. But Long Beach and Philly are not the only places that they're testing it out. Of course, in Southern California, vouchers are already the largest tool to help fight like homelessness, as well as all the red tape is slowing things down. In places like Oklahoma, the demand for Section 8 is so high that they had to freeze the applications because they just can't keep up. That is why that direct cash assistance program, this is a game changer. Oh, and let me not forget about our veterans, okay? Because you guys know that I am a vet, all right? Shout out to all my battle buddies. Let me know down in the comments below if you served in the armed services. But HUD recently announced that veterans or those who are homeless, they can get vouchers more easily as well without counting their disability benefits as income. So this is another way to make sure that we have that access to housing and services that you need as well as you deserve, okay? We deserve it. So that is some good news as well. But let me know down in the comments, guys, below, what would you think about getting cash instead of a voucher? Would this help someone you know? Drop a comment and let me know all the things. Like I said, it's supposed to happen at the beginning of the year. If you want to see what the cost of living adjustment for the rental assistance for HUD, you can go to their website. They do have the 2025 rates on what will be paid out for having a Section 8 voucher available as well. But it's just like anything. Most of the time in October, we know the SNAP as well as Social Security and Section 8 increase for the following year. But when I tell you I think they're done a big one with this one, I think this is a game changer. But I want to read your comments down below. Let me know all the things. Are you still waiting on your Section 8 voucher? How long? How long? That is the question of the day, guys. How long did it take for you to get approved for a Section 8? And as always, please like, comment, subscribe. And um, I will talk to you later, Gator. Bye, guys. Don't forget, grab some Amazon Prime. I mean, if you're going to be in a new house, why not go ahead and get Amazon Prime free for 30 days? Try it out on me. Bye, y'all.